Japanese driver took them slowly through the traffic down pleasant tree-lined avenues. I thought we bombed Japan to kingdom come, said Glenda, looking out the window. Not Kyoto. Is the air dangerous? Is there radiation? Is my skin going to peel off? No, but there's a lot of TB diphtheria going around and the water's unclean. As long as you take basic precautions, you'll be fine. Glenda made a face. Mrs. Vitali was sure I was going to die here, but I said, if it won't kill the kiddo, it won't kill me. She said the Japanese here aren't like the ones in Palo Alto. They're more, um, oriental because they haven't been, you know, modernized. She darted a look at the driver and lowered her voice. The orientals are very excitable by nature. She read about it in a literary magazine. If they don't like anything, they dash their brains against the wall in protest. It's true, isn't it? They're really suicide prone, like the uh, kamikaze pilots. Seen any of those here? Kate shook her head. Everyone here is focused on staying alive, I assure you. Oh, I uh, loaned Mrs. Anderson your piano. We've got the gardeners to help us move it, since we're both going to be here for two years. That's fine. Pianos need to be played, you know, otherwise they go all sour. Glenda pulled out the, pointed out the window as they rounded a corner. What's that? Is that where their little emperor lives? No, that's just a temple. And that? Another temple. And that? They're all temples, Mom. What kind of god do they worship? It's not just one. Kate explained Shinto and Buddhism. Glenda said heathens gave her a headache. I'll be missing Thanksgiving and Christmas. I don't suppose Orientals celebrate? No, but we do. Are there enough Americans to party with us? <laughs> More than you'll ever want to meet, said Kate. She rattled off the military statistics of personnel stationed in Japan. Glenda pulled out a pack of Lucky Strikes from her handbag. Kate snatched it away, rolled down the window, and flung it out onto the road. The driver nearly struck the car. Catherine Ann Schroeder! cried Glenda, annoyed. You promised. I'm in Japan, for God's sake. Surely the ban doesn't extend to Japan. It's a worldwide prohibition. What a waste, grumbled Glenda. It was unopened. Someone would have picked them up already. We're short of cigarettes here. Don't worry, they won't be wasted. 